In the world of global technology, a powerful story is unfolding in the skies. The race for dominance in aviation is not just about engineering marvels, but about national pride, economic power, and the ability to shape the future. The United States, aiming to maintain its edge, imposed strict controls on advanced jet engine exports to China, hoping to slow Beijing's aviation ambitions. These export controls were designed to keep the most sophisticated technology out of Chinese hands, protecting American industry and its allies. But instead of halting progress, these curbs fueled China's determination, accelerating innovation at a remarkable pace. Chinese engineers and scientists, faced with new obstacles, responded by investing more heavily in research and development, pushing boundaries that once seemed out of reach. The result? A breakthrough for China's homegrown passenger jet, the C919, now poised to disrupt the global aviation landscape. This aircraft is more than just a machine, it's a statement of intent, a symbol of China's growing technological prowess. This isn't just about airplanes, it's a lesson in international rivalry. The competition between nations often leads to unexpected consequences, and in this case, it sparked a new era of innovation. When one power tries to contain another, it often sparks a surge of self-reliance. China's response was to mobilize its vast resources, encouraging its brightest minds to solve problems domestically and reduce dependence on foreign technology. China, threatened with exclusion from Western technology, doubled down on its own capabilities. The nation poured billions into its aviation sector, fostering a new generation of engineers and innovators determined to catch up and even surpass their Western counterparts. The C919 stands as a symbol of this drive, turning crisis into opportunity. Each successful test flight and every new order is a testament to how adversity can fuel progress and national ambition. For decades, Boeing and Airbus dominated the skies. Their duopoly seemed unbreakable, setting the standard for commercial aviation and controlling the market for large passenger jets. Now, a third competitor is emerging, challenging assumptions about where the world's most advanced technologies originate. The rise of COMAC and the C919 is forcing the industry to rethink what's possible and who the major players will be in the decades ahead. As the C919 enters commercial service and racks up hundreds of orders, the world is watching a new era take flight. Airlines and passengers alike are beginning to see China as a serious contender in the global aviation market. In this video, we'll explore how U.S. engine curbs backfired, the C919's journey, and the far-reaching impacts of China's aviation ascent. Join us as we uncover the twists and turns of this high-stakes technological rivalry and what it means for the future of flight. The U.S.-China tech rivalry didn't start with jet engines. Its origins stretch back decades, woven into the fabric of global trade and competition. It's rooted in years of disputes over trade, intellectual property, and national security. Both nations have long viewed technology as a key driver of economic power and global standing. The U.S. has long accused China of unfair practices, including forced technology transfers and industrial espionage, seeing technological leadership as vital to its global influence and security. Protecting this edge became central to U.S. policy, especially as China set its sights on tech dominance by 2049, a date marking the centenary of the People's Republic and a symbolic milestone for national rejuvenation. Jet engine restrictions were a strategic move, targeting a sector where the U.S. and its allies still held a clear advantage. The U.S. tightened export controls on dual-use technologies, fearing China could adapt them for military use and tip the balance of power in its favor. Engines like the Leap 1C, co-developed by General Electric, came under scrutiny as officials debated the risks of sharing advanced technology. The idea was to keep China dependent on Western tech, giving the U.S. leverage in negotiations and maintaining a strategic upper hand. But Beijing saw these moves as attempts to stifle its growth and block its path to modernization. The response? A national push for technological independence, massive investment in R&D, and a shift in priorities, mobilizing universities, state-owned enterprises, and private firms alike. The C919's journey became a symbol of this struggle, as U.S. curbs, meant to slow China, ended up accelerating its quest for self-reliance, 
fueling innovation and determination across the country. China's dream of building its own passenger jet began decades ago, with early efforts like the Shanghai Y-10 in the 1970s. That project failed, but the lessons learned set the stage for future ambitions. For years, China supplied parts to Boeing and Airbus, gaining experience but remaining a junior partner. The launch of the C919 in 2008 marked a turning point. Backed by billions in state investment, the goal was clear break the Western duopoly and serve China's booming aviation market. The C919 was designed to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, but relied heavily on foreign suppliers, especially for engines. Delays and technical hurdles followed, but the project's importance never wavered. The C919 became a cornerstone of China's industrial strategy, a symbol of national pride, and a declaration of independence from Western tech dominance. By late 2025, the C919 story shifted from setbacks to success. Now in commercial service, it's logging thousands of flight hours and winning praise from passengers. Comac has ramped up production with over 1,200 orders, mostly from Chinese airlines. The real breakthrough, a C919 test aircraft completed flights powered by the domestically built CJ1000A engine. While not yet certified for mass use, this milestone ends China's total reliance on Western engines. Chinese media celebrated the achievement as a victory for self-reliance, while US officials expressed concern. This progress is the result of years of massive investment and a relentless drive for innovation. The C919, once a distant challenger is now a credible force in global aviation. The rise of the C919 is shaking up global politics, China's ability to build advanced jets gives it new leverage, making it less vulnerable to sanctions and more influential worldwide. For many countries, the C919 offers an alternative to Western aircraft, potentially shifting alliances and creating new centers of technological power. The US and its allies must rethink their strategies. Denial tactics are proving less effective. The focus now shifts to out-innovating rivals and building stronger alliances. The C919's success is a model for other nations, showing that state investment and vision can break into high-tech industries once dominated by the West. Experts across the aviation sector agree, the C919 represents a significant milestone for China's aerospace ambitions, marking the country's entry into the highly competitive commercial jet market. However, while the achievement is impressive, experts caution that substantial challenges still lie ahead for the aircraft and its manufacturer, Comac. Aviation analyst Dr. Richard Abulafia points out that breaking into the global market is notoriously difficult. Boeing and Airbus have spent decades building not just advanced aircraft, but also deep trust, extensive after-sales support, and global service networks. For Comac, earning that same level of confidence from international airlines will take time, consistent performance, and a proven safety record. For now, the C919's influence is primarily domestic. Strong government support and policy incentives ensure that Chinese airlines are early adopters, helping the aircraft gain operational experience and visibility within China's rapidly growing aviation market. Policy experts like Dr. Evelyn Reed argue that U.S. export controls intended to slow China's progress may have had the opposite effect. By restricting access to Western technology, these measures have pushed China to accelerate the development of its own supply chains, fostering innovation and creating a new, determined competitor in the global aerospace industry. Engineering professor Wei Zhang describes the domestically developed CJ-1000A engine as a monumental technological feat for China. While it still lags behind Western engines in terms of reliability and efficiency, Ongoing research and investment suggest that the performance gap could narrow significantly over the next decade. Economist Dr. Kenji Tanaka predicts that as the C919 demonstrates its capabilities and reliability, it will become increasingly attractive to airlines in developing countries, especially those with close economic ties to China. This could force established players like Boeing and Airbus to compete more aggressively on price and service in these emerging markets. The consensus among experts is clear. The C919 is a true game changer. Its significance lies not just in its current technical capabilities, but in its potential to shift the global balance of technological power, challenging the long-standing dominance of Western aerospace giants and reshaping the future of commercial aviation.
The C919's entry is set to disrupt a trillion-dollar industry long dominated by Boeing and Airbus. Comac is poised to capture a huge share of China's fast-growing market, diverting billions in revenue from Western manufacturers. Over the next two decades, Chinese airlines are expected to buy thousands of new jets. If Comac secures even a third, it's a half-trillion-dollar shift. This competition will ripple through global supply chains, affecting jobs and investment in the US and Europe. With a new player, airlines gain leverage, likely driving down aircraft prices and benefiting travelers. The C919's technology will also spill over into other sectors, fueling China's broader economic and technological rise. Beyond geopolitics and economics, the C919's story is deeply human. For Chinese engineers and workers, it's a source of immense pride, a testament to years of dedication and problem-solving. For ordinary citizens, flying on the C919 is a tangible sign of national progress. Airlines market C919 flights as a patriotic choice, reinforcing public enthusiasm and ensuring a strong domestic market. Meanwhile, aerospace workers in the US and Europe face new uncertainty as market share shifts. For global travelers, the C919 promises more choices and potentially lower fares as it expands internationally. The C919's rise marks a new era of technological competition. U.S. efforts to contain China's progress have instead created a formidable rival. This story is a lesson for policymakers. In a connected world, barriers often fuel innovation rather than stop it. The rivalry between the U.S. and China will shape the future of technology, jobs, and global rules. The C919 is just one milestone in a larger race for leadership in AI, biotech, and clean energy. The challenge now is to manage this competition wisely, fostering progress, avoiding conflict and ensuring that technological advances benefit all.